Every morning, scientists and staff of the MDC travel from all parts of Berlin to Berlin Buch. Here on the campus outside the city center, there are unique opportunities to collaborate with companies, other research institutions, and also with clinics. Science, communication, and art shape the Berlin Buch campus. One of the central institutions is the Max Delbruch Center. It was founded in 1992 and is one of the major biomedical research centers of the Helmholtz Association. About 900 scientists from around the world are active in more than 60 independent research groups. They investigate the molecular basis of disease. Their findings are used to improve the diagnosis, treatment and prevention of diseases. These include diseases of the cardiovascular system, metabolic diseases, diseases of the nervous system and cancer. Cardiovascular diseases are the leading cause of death in Germany. Toralf Niendorf and his team hope to develop entirely new diagnostic possibilities with the so-called ultra-high-frequency magnetic resonance imaging. One example of what they have found is a new method for ECG analysis. The so-called multi-channel high-frequency magnetic coils that they have designed, which make such very accurate images possible, are already being used clinically. These new technologies are not only suitable for the diagnosis of heart disease, but also for diseases of the nervous system. Our vision is to translate MR technology into clinical value in close collaboration with clinicians, which will help to improve diagnostics. But we would also like to enhance our efforts to master the MR physics of even higher field strengths, such as 11.7 Tesla, which one day will hopefully help to image single cells. These strange animals can help to find out why humans feel pain. Naked mole rats live together in huge colonies underground where carbon dioxide levels are high. This produces acid in their tissues. But naked mole rats are insensitive to acid. To find out why that's the case, Gary Lewin and his group examined the pain receptors that are normally activated by acid. They found out that naked mole rats have a special ion channel that inhibits this reaction. It shuts off the pain receptors and this explains why the animals are completely insensitive to acid. Naked mole rats, as well as being insensitive to acid, are also insensitive to a variety of other um, painful stimuli when compared to mice, for example. Um, we found that the pain receptors in this organism are actually connected in the spinal cord quite differently from those in mouse. And this difference in wiring could just give us some quite interesting insights in how pain is processed normally also in humans. One in five children in Germany suffer from neurodermatitis, but the causes are still largely undiscovered. Professor Young Air Li is studying hereditary triggers for allergic diseases in children. Using molecular biological techniques, Li's team wants to identify genes that increase the risk of atopic dermatitis and other allergic diseases. Together with colleagues, they already found a gene that, when mutated, increases the likelihood of developing neurodermatitis. The aim of our work is to use our findings of the genetic studies, the genetic determinants of allergic disease, in order to improve the treatment of allergies in the future. And one of our major goals is to develop preventive strategies based on this information. Um, genetic studies have shown that immune defense mechanisms play a very important role in this and it would be conceivable for the future that um, we modulate the immune response in the future, um, for example through vaccination, in order to prevent allergic disease.
In addition to outstanding research, the Max Delbruck Center is devoted to the training of young scientists. 350 students from around the world graduate from the Helmholtz Graduate School, Molecular Cell Biology. In cooperation with the Humboldt University, the Free University of Berlin, and the Charité University Medicine Berlin, the MDC offers young scientists an interdisciplinary platform for structured training in theory and practice. The MDC has developed into an internationally recognized research institution. It now ranks amongst the world's leading institutions in the field of molecular biology and genetics, and the scientists have set even higher goals for the future. They want to intensify the translational medicine, thus bringing the results of their basic research into the application. For this purpose, and together with Charité, the Berlin Institute of Health has been established. In addition, the system's biology at the MDC is to be greatly increased. At the Berlin Institute for Medical Systems Biology, or BIMS-B for short, scientists address the basic issues of life. With model organisms like the nematode C. elegans, researchers want to find out how genes communicate with each other. Disorders in gene regulation are often the cause of diseases. For this, molecular biologists and biochemists are working closely with mathematicians, physicists and computational biologists. This systems biology approach allows them to interpret complex genetic processes in more detail. With this ambitious goal in mind, Nikolaus Rajewski initiated the establishment of the BIMS-B at the MDC in 2008. Today there are eight research groups working closely together. Their different scientific approaches allow them to better understand important processes that occur in the cell. I think one vision overall is that we can manage to integrate the many levels of gene regulation that are currently mostly studied separately. This way we might really be able to predict if there is a certain mutation what are the consequences. I think a question that for example in cancer is extremely important but for many other diseases obviously uh, also very important. Mm -hmm.